Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsychologist, technical agnostic, and 40 in skeptic. I've received a lot of comments on my dice control video over the last few days, which have basically been saying, like, show your point, do a demonstration on a table. When I already just did that on my TV tray in that exact same video and pointed out about how the telekinesis was more highly unlikely as current physics did not allow for it. Now, to be granted, I'm not saying that, do that it doesn't exist. To say that it doesn't exist because uh, current science cannot explain it would be an example of Hume's fallacy. What I'm saying is that it's less likely because of the current laws of physics, you know, because the current laws of physics don't allow for it, um, or don't allow, um, let me rephrase that. There is, um, it would require a major rewrite of the laws of physics. Now, for the most part, um, whenever a new discovery has been made in physics, um, law of gravity, um, uh, discovering that gravity wasn't a force but a bend in the space-time continuum, you know, superseding Newton with Einstein, um, superseding Aristotle with Newton. Um, yes, there were major rewrites, but only in certain areas. Uh, most of the other physics was still intact. Um, even quantum mechanics, when it came in, um, it only um, superseded certain areas where relativity was thought to take over, and there are certain areas which are a little bit of conflict, and those are currently being researched with string theory, which may provide even a, a supersedence of both relativity and quantum mechanics in a new area. Now, the thing is that for telepathy, uh, micropsychokinesis, and certain other psi phenomena, a large chunk of these do fall within certain possible examples of, uh, of current laws of quantum, uh, of, cur uh, of current laws. For example, telepathy, um, again, um, non-locality does appear to have a, an existence. Now, whether or not non whether or not uh, telepathy is based on quantum mechanics, that is another kettle of fish. Precognition, again, there are certain formats of uh, uh, certain interpretations of, of quantum mechanics which allow for time reversal in the natural format. Now, micropsychokinesis, particularly in the retro format, would be um, completely within the laws of the, uh, would completely be in accordance with the described possible observer effect of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Again, these are all, um, and telepathy and precognition may have some connection through string theory or something like that, which may not necessarily be on a micro level, but on a, uh, a conscious ability or the human, if you will, maybe this is the human, uh, the, the macro level aspect of tapping higher order dimensions. But again, this is all theory work. It does. What I'm not. What I'm saying is that some of these abil, uh, some of these have greater room um, within the current laws of physics, and re would require less of a rewrite. They would only require rewrites in certain minor areas. Um, quantum mechanics and other stuff would still be useful in its current areas. Telekinesis, on the other hand, particularly on a macro level, um, would require, you know, beyond heating of the hands or other stuff like that, would require. Uh, um, rewrites in a certain few areas and so that's what I'm trying to point out um, which means that it's it, it it becomes harder to it becomes less likely and harder to um, and harder to look at that being said I'm still open to the possibility of it as I've said in my other tele, uh, telekinesis debunk videos pertaining to psi wheels so I want to make that perfectly clear to my um, uh, to any believers or the like who've tried to accuse me about that saying uh, well, you know, it's a faith-based system based on a math interpretation. No, what I'm pointing out is that the current laws do not... Um, I'm pointing out that the current laws are very, very difficult based on that. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. I'm just simply saying that it requires a greater amount of evidence to uh, deal with... Um, based on what we know of the current laws of physics, um, telepathy, precognition, and... Um, Precognition and micropsychokinesis are less extraordinary of a claim, and thus require and uh, are thus a degree higher on the evidence scale. You know, there's there's a little bit less in terms of evidence that they have to actually present to a skeptic such as myself. Telekinesis, on the other hand, is slightly more extraordinary of a claim and requires a little bit greater proof. Hence, why I'm a little bit more critical of the videos of it, and a little less critical of videos pertaining to telepathy. I, I am still critical. I'm just a little bit less so. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Now, now that I've done my point, allow me to do my demonstration. This is a dice. I pointed out that Godspeed um, is likely to be using a dice bump on a table. I'd like you to observe... Oops, I almost knocked over my drink here. I'd like you to observe this dice, okay? Now notice it's not moving. I try to keep my hands on it. But lo and behold, when I bump the table underneath... See, the dice has moved left. Allow me to bring this over to a table to a kitchen table to make a, a better demonstration of this. Hopefully this will make it stick this time. This isn't my dining room table, but it will do for the purposes that we need here. 
This is a table. It's a standard table, much like the other type. I'm just going to move the fragile things off it so I don't break it. Move the incense burner and a glass. Now, here is the dice. If you can see this clearly, I'm going to put that right there. Now I'm going to move my hand over it, and with my left hand, you see it moves a little. But when I give it a really good jolt, it jumps a little, maybe a little more. See? It jolted up exactly like the way it did in the video. Again, let me demonstrate. Woo! Woo! I knocked over a couple of chess pieces in the process, but you saw the dice jump off the table. The point is that there is not really any much difference between what Godspeed is doing. He's just doing it with a much more close-up camera. You also hear no sound. You don't see his left hand at any of the clip. Uh, sorry, his right hand. You only see his left hand. And um, given the fact that you only see his left hand... What are you doing? Doing a demonstration of a telekinesis point to respond to a few spammers. Jeffrey, you're creating so much fucking mess. No, I'm not. Don't worry. I'm just putting this back. Yes. Sorry, it was the only... It was the only it's way annoying. I could demonstrate... Don't worry, nothing got I'm lost. Moving everything out of the way. Like seriously, like stop like do moving things and like er rearranging things. I'm moving it briefly. I'm putting it back exactly the way it was, so this way I could demonstrate this point. Actually, no, you're not. I yes, always I have to end up cleaning. No, up because of the fact that I'm putting these guys back, and I was about to clean these guys up if you give me a God chance. Damn it. Sorry, if you give me a chance, I would have been able to do it. <sighs> anyway. It's not being silly. It's taking care of a bunch of new age... Sorry. Just let it go, man. No, I'm not going to let it go because people are going to keep trying to be incorrect about or going to be inappropriate about debunks and resorting to... Yes, people do, okay? There's still a large contingent who are spamming my videos. This is my way of trying to deal with them. Anywho, long story short, I believe I've made my point. Um, as you can see, I moved a couple of chess pieces in the process. A bump that's strong enough would be able to cause a dice to jump off a table. Godspeed's video is this particular type of trick, or more likely this particular type of trick. Now, that's why I said watch my tele the dice control video, which I pointed out in there. I said controls as to how Godspeed, and uh, you know, I put or retelekinesis dice control. I said in that video how Godspeed could put better controls on it to prove to me that it's telekinesis. I was open to the idea that it was possible telekinesis because of the very fact that I was suggesting controls. If I hadn't been suggesting controls and suggesting replications, I would have been saying something like, telekinesis doesn't exist, you're bunk, that's it. That would have been close-minded of me. Okay? I want to make this perfectly clear to uh, people still spamming my videos with this sort of stuff. This is the, um, uh, we're not spamming my videos, sorry, but, you know, um, you know, the ones who are basically trying to say that it's a faith-based system or what have you in terms of science. I've made my point clear. It is, a, it is more likely to be a jolt from under the table with the other hand with a, wave on the, uh, with a wave on top of the one hand and the other hand you don't see in the camera because of course you don't want, uh, the secret is not supposed to be revealed. So, that having been stated, I believe I've debunked that trick well enough um, or more specifically demanded um, much more stringent controls for in the event it is real telekinesis. I'm open to the idea, but that being said, I want to see further proof. Remember, extraordinary claims require, extra require extraordinary evidence, and in this and this case is no different from any other in that particular regard. Now, that having been said, toodles.